Uh, question for Steve Carino. Sandman's here. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is the Sandman. Got a chair for you up there and everything, boy. I don't have like my own podium or. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Chair number four, you next to Steve. Uh, yeah, question for Steve Carina. Uh, what was your favorite memory of working with Jack Victory? <laughs> we get naked in front of you get naked outside a half hour ago. Oh my god, I did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this, uh, this lady was crazy. I mean, she's driving like this little minivan or something like that. I mean, literally, she had two feet on each side. And I ain't walking nowhere. I was pissed at the guy that needed to take me up the elevator. I had to walk the stairs. What was I talking about? <laughs> Oh yeah, I got naked outside. Yeah. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you tell the story about how you got naked? You remember? Oh uh, yeah. And then we'll get back. Well, to it's you. a short story, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, 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 no! We got kicked out of Pensacola, Florida for that. Uh, every memory with Jack was great. Uh, he was, you know. As Jack said, his early 40s and stuff like that, but every day he was like, he, he was a rookie. 40s. Early 40s. <laughs> early 40s. Like Terry Funk, still 55. <laughs> <laughs> but um, do, doing the promos with Jack was, was my favorite because what, because what you saw, like with Hack, is uh, what you got, you know, that's that's what we did in the locker rooms and... Oh, no, 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 somebody duct taped his pants. Uh, <laughs> I got a question. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Good job. You got, if you got a question, you got to put your hand in. Johnny, you got any question here? Uh, against Ray J, has there been any contact with WWE and would you ever consider working for them in the future? He signed till 2008. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's... What's your favorite match of the FWA that you... Uh, that's hard. That sounds just like Sam on it. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> Jody and Johnny, I've wrestled those, both those guys and had great matches with them. Um, I didn't really get to wrestle Doug 101, so I can't really count that one. But those are two great matches that I had here um, or with FWA and uh, the oh, Super whoa, Show. Whoa, with, whoa, 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 oh, crap. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey. Yo, did me and you work together for TNA? No, for FWA over it's here. It's an FWA question, though. Sorry. Man. Sorry. <laughs> I will, I, will, I will say something about TNA. When uh, Sandman and I wrestled, I, uh, I shot a three-pointer with a garbage can, and you were in the ring. I nailed you. Do you remember that? No. <laughs> it was a good shot, though. It was like three-pointer. Loved it. All right, fair enough. All right, question right up here. Who's got... <laughs> Where, where's the cake? Cake, give me that goddamn... Oh, crap. <laughs> All right, yeah. Who the hell... All right, don't raise your hand to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who's got a real question? Eddie? First of all, I took the microphone. But he's hey, Hack, I got a question. Yeah. Anything in life can go three ways. What are those three ways? In, out, and about. Win, win, lose, uh, lose. Uh, please, please explain. Oh, God, he's killing me right here. All right, here's the deal. In life. And, and this, this, this relates to every single person in this room. There are certain situations, like, I don't care if you're talking to, to your mom, uh, to your sister, to your girlfriend, to your boss, uh, to a co-worker. You gotta stay away from the lose losers, and you have to be able to recognize the lose losers.
as in, for example, um, what the hell I was doing? I'm driving with some me and Raven. Last night we're driving to a show, and and Raven, you know, he he's fucking around just like me. The driver goes, "Who is your favorite wrestler in ECW?" That's a lose lose. <laughs> he's got me and Raven in the car. Anything the kid says, he's done. <laughs> he says, Raven, I'm garrin him from the back. And he says, Sam man, Raven's punching him on the on right hand. Stay away from the lose losers in life and you gotta You know it's like Every and, and professor, hey, everybody here knows it's work. Is there any here? Raise your hand if you think that when we go to the ring, that it actually is who's the better guy as a wrestler. <laughs> yeah. Any one of these guys can out wrestle me, no problem at all. But, <laughs> Mario wants to challenge you right now. <laughs> oh yeah? Oh, <laughs> it's <laughs> 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 right, okay. Now you're sitting here. You're all puffing. Look at you. You're puffing up your oh, no. <laughs> Hey. I'm sitting next to your girl. <laughs> That's not your girl. <laughs> See? It's, can't, I just gave you a lose-lose right there. <laughs> that was a lose-lose right there. Yeah, I give you a perfect example. Hey, what do you do for a living? Coach driver. What? I'm a coach driver. You drive coaches. He drives, he drives a taxi. You drive the professional teams Fucking managers around. <laughs> <laughs> he's a bus driver. Ah, he's a bus driver. Okay. All right. Suppose um <laughs> her. Suppose I'm her. <laughs> and she gets onto the bus and she's like, "How does my hair look?" <laughs> A what? A what? She said it. Oh, look! She's throwing milk. You're a professional wrestler. You threw the heat right on to the other lady. <laughs> That's a lose lose. You gotta stay away from the lose lose. Hack, right, see if anybody has a question. <laughs> I will kill him. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they're telling me we need more questions. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Kate. I, you know what? I, I'm saying right here is a lose lose. Right here. <laughs> it's a lose lose. I need to bow to the king. Oh, I need to give him back his mic. <laughs> yeah, fat chance. Of that. <laughs> I tried. All right, who's got a question? All right, what do you got, Ken? What? <laughs> oh, just ask my kids. How drunk are you? Oh, I'm loaded. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loaded. I fell asleep. Apparently, somebody tried to wake me up at noon because they're like, "Ah, hey, you got a two o'clock Q and A. We're gonna wake you up at noon. The building's five minutes away." Carino's kicking my door in. Going, yo, hack, you gotta get the fuck up. Thank God I had a couple cocktails left over from last night. But I had ordered breakfast too, so it wasn't like I was a total drunk. I I had a bite of a piece of toast, a couple of doubles, and I ended up here. Hack, hack, there's one up here. Uh, question up here. Uh, you guys are going to do way too much work here. <laughs> Question. Yeah, this is for Loki and Austin. Um, this year alone in Ring of Honor, what's been the most standout match for you tonight? There's a question. <laughs> I would think uh, the best match this year for me in Ring of Honor would probably be against Jay Lethal. The, the final yeah. match. Yeah, 
God, believe it or not, my seven-year-old told me that that was a hell of a match right then. Uh, I believe uh, Jay Lethal is definitely one of the young young guys to be on the lookout for. He's uh, very talented, he's very aggressive, he's very strong, and uh, I definitely think he has a good future. And, uh, <laughs> Steve said to mention the sixth man that we wrestled. Was I in that? <laughs> yes. How do you do that? I'm going to say uh, probably, probably even though I lost, uh, probably the title match with CM Punk where he won the belt. I think just with, with everything that was wrapped into that match, I think that really probably stood out as, as one of the special moments this year. Yeah, I wish CM Punk was here. And CM Punk, hell of a worker. And I, I'm pulling a Raven right now, like, eh. I had a lot to do with it, but yeah, I had, I, I forget where I was going. <laughs> That's a question for yourself. What was your best match in ECW, and what did you think of one last time? Did you think it should have been more ECW, or did you think WD should have just invited that I did? Alright, let me do it in reverse order, replay. <laughs> this is tough. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, one night stand was great. I, you know, I was just having fun. I'm out there. I'm out there with my buddies. So, any, I don't know. I'm not the booker. I'm not Vince McMahon, but I'll tell you what, though. Uh, I asked Tommy Dreamer. Uh, this is like maybe one or two o'clock in the afternoon. I said, Tommy, do you need me anymore? He goes, no, go ahead, do whatever you want. So, I'm sitting in this Irish pub drinking doubles. Me and my girl. I got about 10 in me. Dreamer calls me at like, maybe like, you just gotta understand, in the WWE, they go through, I don't care if it's just an interview, it's called a walkthrough. They do a walkthrough, as in, like, alright, let's say, like, Triple H is doing the signing with, uh, uh, the guy with the, uh, Batista. Yeah. <laughs> These guys, when they did the signing, it's called a walkthrough, where they have uh, they have the table set up, they have like the security guards, which were all wrestling guys that are just in school or whatever, and they're just hanging out trying to get a spot or something like that. But they'll literally go over their verbiage, they'll have a piece of paper, and Batista will be like, Oh, I want to fight you. No, I love that sound. Okay, let's hear it again, please. <laughs> Throw in the heat. That is pro wrestling. So anyway, so they're doing the walkthrough. Obviously, they do the walkthrough the way the progressive the matches go. So I told Dreamer, yeah, I'm going out shopping with my girl. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Next question, please. <laughs> he knew where I was going. Everybody, please give a big hand to Steve Carino's girl. Oh, crap. Next question. Come on. Move on. Yes, please. Oh, what? Oh, what? Now you hear me? Oh, wait a minute. I was going to <laughs> Okay, so they're doing a walkthrough. <laughs> they're doing a walkthrough. Me and, I, me and my girl, who looks, it happens to be half my age, just look, just like Jessica Simpson with bigger tits and a nicer ass. She was 27. <laughs> so I'm sitting at the bar drinking doubles. I'm probably on my, like, no, no lie, maybe my eighth or ninth. Dreamer calls me and he's like, ah. <laughs> Go, 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 go! You know what, that's it. Oh, oh. Ah, here we go. <laughs> I baby face myself. I <laughs> okay, so anyway, the dream was like, hey, we're doing a walkthrough. I need you back to the boat. And I said, what time? I'm about 10 blocks away. Two, I'm loaded. Three, there's no chance we're gonna be back there in 15 minutes. And get back to the building. Vince is in a ring with Johnny Ace, and maybe like, I don't wanna say like Michael Hayes or something like that. So I told my girl, and then Vince, as soon as I walk in the house, I'm ball room, Vince is like, hey, Sam, man, come here. I'm like, oh, shit. 
So I, I sit my girl down you and, and immediately Kurt Angle sits right down my door and tries to pick her up. Why is somebody interrupting me? <laughs> That's not like show. Can you sit beer down me like you always used to? I feel like Yo, will you, can I finish my story? Wait, why do you have to, is Vince telling you that you have to take the way back? So why, tell me, can, tell me, can you listen? Uh, you know, hold this for a second. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 No. I'm trading microphones out. No. Listen, do you think I, you know, I might have been bored yesterday, but I've been up all night. <laughs> all right, so obviously I'm burying Kate. Wait a minute, I don't understand. How come I can't do your job? How come you can't sit up there and take questions? Anybody got a question for King? For the King? Okay. Wow. Alright, anybody have a real question? Okay. God damn you are a good looking girl. Whoa. Hey, what's up kid? Question for everyone here: Who would like to see Sandman versus King right now? Right now. Yeah. I'm, gonna kick, I'm gonna kick the piss out of that kid. <laughs> first of all, first of all, I just pissed before I came into the ring, came into the building. Uh, second of all, great question, Kate. Give me a high five. Yeah, right. <laughs> Who's, who's got another question for the panel up here? Who's got another question for the panel? Oh, right, wait, okay. You got okay. It? Will you fucking relax, please? I'm relax. <laughs> hey, who's got a question for the panel? Uh, this one's for Stalin James Keenan, because I went used to be ignoring him up till now. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, uh, What was the question? Uh, first, um, how did he get, how did he get started, really? Tell us your story. It's not that much of an interesting story. I, I knew a guy who knew a guy. I've been a wrestling fan all my life, and I just so happened to know some of the right people that started training, and then uh, I went down to the Dory Funk School, and I started working with a lot of guys and learning a lot, and it just snowballed from there. Are you sure, shitting me, kid? I shit you. Yo, where did Q and A here? He wants to know your story. If I just you were in the car story. with me. No, tell us. Is how much money you paid, what day you started, who who taught you, like the, 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 all right, there's a bunch of moves that I can't remember the names of them. But yo, come on, kid, tell us your story. I trained, I started training in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where I live, uh, with some local guys who I'm sure none of you guys would know. Um, they, they taught me the basics. I went to, again, Dory Funk School to kind of brush up on things, and I started going to, uh, seminars and stuff like I learned from AJ for a little bit, Dr. Tom Pritchard, a few guys like that and then like I just started working shows and working more shows with bigger names and, and getting in the ring with different guys and learning a lot and like AJ said before you're always learning so. Hey, if you want work. Yeah, hey, I love AJ. Hey, you know, I hated working with him but <laughs> I love him as a person. Hey, in this business, if if you're not learning something to do, you're learning something not to do. You gotta be able to keep your ears open, your eyes closed. A perfect example is I tell some guys, that's the most guys on the board here is that, and, and I want you all to try this at home, when get the, the, the best match that you, that you have on DVD, VCR, or whatever, Close your eyes and then listen to the match. You follow me here? Close your eyes and then listen to the match. Read and tell me that. I'm not putting that over. No, um, we're gonna be we're gonna be wrapping it up in a few minutes, Hack. So let's get in a couple more questions. Real quick. A few minutes? Why? Who's in a hurry here? What does what the show start? Like five hours? No, show starts. Right, next question. We're gonna match at five. This hack. Hack, this is going to be the last question that we're going to give everybody a chance 
You know, if they want to take a couple pictures, autographs, and there's merchandise downstairs. I was just bottom. starting to have some fun here. Sorry, I, I, This one kid uh, was going to ask, uh, who were you going to ask? Was it Loki? Uh, no? Were you the kid that I was talking to? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some. I'm gonna play devil's advocate. I'm gonna go across the board right now, and I'm gonna do uh, all right, psychi psychiatry major. I'm gonna do uh, uh, uh what the hell's it called again? Like, if I had a picture, I'd show you a picture. One guy would be like, ah, that's an ass. Ah, this, this, this. okay. All right. Everybody ready? All right, when I say something to you, I want to hear your first response. Wrestling. <laughs> Love it. The fans. I despise you all. <laughs> uh, price per ticket. Too high. <laughs> Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Um, red. Blue. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tuna fish sandwich. Chicken and stuffing. Yay! Fun. You. <laughs> Don't try and get over with me here. Right? <laughs> I did. Uh, no, can I wrap this up, please? Oh, yeah. By all means. Hey, you you're the guy with the microphone. I, now, uh, you ready for a duel off? <laughs> Ball shot. Thank you all so much. Yeah. I, believe it or not, I'm having just as much fun as you are. All right, fans. Thanks, guys.